Hello everybody, my name is Shadbra, and today we will be ranking chocolate bars. You know why? Because it's almost Halloween in like, what is it, is it the 27th? Well, you're probably watching this on the 28th, so I guess you could say three days away. So I'm pretty excited for this Halloween, even though we're not going to probably preserve the same traditions of, as we have done in the past because of this freaking COVID-19 pandemic and I'm sick of it and you're sick of it and I just want to just get over with it but you know that's the way things are and it kind of sucks but anyway while we're in our our spare time we can at least dream of the the chocolate bars that we can collect on Halloween um you can just go to the store and buy yourself some candy bars and, and just use Halloween as an excuse to pig out. You know, I think that's what I do. I mean, I'm 21. I'm a little, little too old to trick or treat, I think. But uh, uh, it's it's good to have my own money at the same time. So I can just go to the store and buy all the candy I want and, and use Halloween as a facade for justifying my candy crave, I guess you could say. So anyway, here we are with the tier list. I'm going to not start by tier. I'm going to start by candy bar. So we're going to start out with Baby Ruth. So Baby Ruth, I think, is kind of overrated in all honesty. It's kind of hard to pull apart. Like, it hurts my teeth when I pull it apart. And the chocolate isn't even that good. It hardly even has a flavor. And just the contents inside just kind of overpower the chocolatey taste which you know there's not a whole lot to overpower there so we're gonna probably put baby ruth in low tier i i don't hate it it's not like bottom tier but it, it could certainly do better uh milky way i quite like milky way for me maybe it's just a little bit too simple in all honesty it's not my favorite, but I do like it quite a bit. And I sit back and I can think about sailing and, and eat a Milky Way candy bar. So for me, that's uh, I would say that's high tier. Okay, so now we have Kit Kats. So Kit Kats are incredibly, you know, like satisfying to eat, right? So I would probably put it at the top tier, but I probably wouldn't because... The thing is, the chocolate is just kind of, meh. The fun thing about a Kit Kat bar is breaking it apart and chewing it with your teeth. It's just, like, so satisfying. And it's gone, like, super duper quick. You can't, it doesn't fill you up. So you just want to eat more and more and more really, really fast. So Kit Kat would take top tier, but I'll just put it at high tier because the chocolate is just kind of, eh. Here's the thing, Butterfinger, I heard that there's a controversy surrounding Butterfingers, like whether it's actually good or not, and to those people, I, I, I just don't understand, like, I don't understand why people say that Butterfingers are bad. They're really good, the chocolate is good, and what is inside is super good, and it's really satisfying to crunch through, and doesn't stick to your teeth too much like a Baby Ruth does, and it's just... Oh, it's so satisfying to, to, to eat. And when I was a kid, I always watched these, I, I think they were Simpsons commercials. Don't let, don't lay a finger on my Butterfinger. And I think they're still saying that. But yeah, I watch Simpsons commercials all the time about Butterfingers. And I really just don't understand the controversy. It's, it's really, really good. So I'm going to put it at top tier. Um, then now there's Toblerone and I, I personally really like Toblerone and I guess I, that's because I'm not an uncultured swine like the rest of you, but, uh, I, th it, to, to me, it, it just takes high tier, I think, because the, and the reason why is because it's super expensive and it runs out and it's just kind of, it, 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 sometimes it feels like I'm getting stabbed in my mouth whenever I eat Toblerone, but you know, that's just me. All right, now we have Hershey's. So here's the thing. I would put Hershey's at low tier uh, because just to me, it kind of tastes like wax. It's not bad and it's really good on s'mores and in recipes and stuff. But the fact that you have to put on s'mores and in recipes instead of just eating it straight, which I guess you could do that. Um, it, 
I would put it at mid tier because it is very very classic like i you have to give it you have to get it some credit for being like chocolate it's 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 the american chocolate okay so now we have snickers and snickers i'm going to put it top tier and i don't really have to explain that much about snickers it's, it's just that whenever you're hungry you just need to eat a snickers and you'll do fine you'll be fine it's it's great it's good stuff so now we have Twix, and I really love Twix. Now, I don't like it as much as Snickers or Butterfingers, but they're really good, and I, I get excited when I see these in my in my Halloween bucket, you know, or bag or whatever you want to call it. I call it a bucket because, you know, the bigger the, the, bigger the container, the more, the more candy there is. So yeah, Twix gets high tier. It's not as good as Butterfinger or Snickers, but it's 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 very good all right so now i have three musketeers okay three musketeers is chocolate with nougat i believe and it makes me sick to be honest like i eat two bites of it and i'm already sick and i just don't understand why people love it so much i i have friends who love it and you know if you love it more power to you but it, it, they they just make me sick in all honesty and i've i've never been happy after i've eaten a, a three musketeers candy bar okay next we got almond joy another bottom tier and the reason why is because the coconut is like overpowering and and the, here's the thing i like coconut right coconut is is good and you know coconut and candy form can be pretty good as well but almond joy if mounds were here i would put it in the exact same spot um, and Mounds, for those of you who don't know, is basically Almond Joy without the almonds, but it's dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. Almond Joy, it just again, the, the coconut is way too overpowering, and I'm okay with almonds. Like, I like almonds, but I, I don't like to eat almonds with my chocolate. Uh, now we got Reese's. Okay, so Reese's is, like, I don't even need to explain this peanut butter plus chocolate that's like a match made in heaven and quite frankly i would like to meet the man who who discovered that chocolate and peanut butter go so well together so you know what i'm gonna put it in a top tier because it's it, it's amazing it's a cereal they made other like candy bars and i guess they're just peanut butter cups they're not really bars um so but you know to me it's kind of like a candy bar basically so i'm gonna put it at top tier it's it's just amazing okay so now we got crunch and um crunch i would probably put that at low tier in all honesty um but it, it is a classic and i have very fond memories of getting lunchables or something like on on a friday my mom buys me lunchables <laughs> you guys remember those they still have them i think and there would always be a mini crunch bar in the Lunchable. And so I would put it at low tier, but for the sake of nostalgia, I'm going to put it mid tier right next to Hershey's. So yeah, that's really good. M&M's. So M&M's, I would probably put at high tier, um, but they're just not, they're not even close to a bar. Like they're, f they're further away from a bar than Reese's are. Okay. And Reese's are cups. So it doesn't really make sense that they would have them on here. I, I guess, so there's the YouTuber, The Odd Ones Out, who who said that M&M's are a candy bar, which is, I just don't understand why he, he calls them a candy bar. People tell him, hey, no, that's not a candy bar. That's Those are multiple pieces. And he like freaks out. Yeah, well, yeah obviously, what an astute observation. Well, if you're James from The Odd Ones Out, if you're going to be so sassy about it, then then why are you saying that uh why are you suggest like if it's so obvious that it's not a candy bar then why are you suggesting that it is so it's just an excuse way to go james from the odd ones out i still love you um so i'm gonna put it at low tier i'd put it at high tier but it's not even close to a candy bar so i don't even know why it's on this this tier list but it's not Eminem's fault for doing that. It's it's the the creators of this tier list. So I would probably put it there at low tier. So at the bottom tier, 
the sucky bars. We got three musketeers and we got almond joys. By the way, if you give out almond joys or three musketeers to little kids, shame on you. So now we got low tiers. So if you give out M and M's to little kids on Halloween, that's fine. But you know, it's not a candy bar, James. Uh, and we also have Baby Ruth. Mm, I prefer not to give Baby Ruth away. Um, in all honesty, it's just like I said, it's not super duper good. It's kind of overrated. And then we got Hershey's at the mid tier and Hershey's they're good for like filling up your bag and it makes you feel like satisfied because Hershey's is like um, the American chocolate, right? But in all honesty, it's not really that good. It, like I said, it just tastes like wax um, and it goes good with a s'more and it goes good in like baking and that's about it. I do like their the, the cookies and cream. The Hershey's cookies and cream is excellent. I will say that. Okay, and then we got Crunch Bars. So yeah, Crunch Bars would be low tier, but they give me fond memories from Lunchables. Milky Way would get top tier, but it's a little too basic for me to get top tier in all honesty. I guess Reese's are basic, but they're kind of they're they're kind of perfect in their simplicity, I would say. And then we have Kit Kats and like I said, Kit Kats are just, the chocolate isn't that good uh, with a Kit Kat, but they are satisfying to break apart. They're really satisfying to eat and they just don't fill you up. So you just eat tons of them they're, and, and they're just, it's, it's fun. It's fun to eat Kit Kats. And then Toblerones kind of stab my mouth and they're really expensive, but they are very, very good, high quality chocolate. And then Twix is just, uh, it's, it's not as good as these three, but it's really good. I really like Twix. And then we have top tier Butterfinger. Again, I don't understand the controversy the controversy with this thing because Butterfingers are just really good. I've never met anybody who doesn't like a Butterfinger. I've, I've heard people say that it's controversial and that some people don't like Butterfinger, but I've never met one person who, who hates Butterfingers. Okay, and then we have Snickers. Snickers, like out of all of them, out of all these candy bars, Snickers is the best, okay? You get a little hostile when you're hungry, and 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 that's all you need to know with Snickers, okay? And then we have Reese's, okay? Reese's, it's chocolate plus peanut butter equals genius. Like it's a match made in heaven. It's it's like, it's just amazing. It's it's like uh, it's like Thor and Natalie Portman's character right there. It's just like ah, oh, oh, so awesome. So yeah, there you guys have it. That's my opinion. And, and if you want to rant in the comments about my terrible taste in candy, then go for it. I, I'm willing to, I'm willing to hear your your opinions. But that's my that's my list for today. And uh, I hope you guys at least enjoyed the video, not and didn't get too mad at me. But uh, yeah, see you next time.